Today we are in Richmond, Indiana, and we are at the Model T Museum. And uh, before we head on in, remember to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. This is Model R Runabout 1907, and it costs $750. We have a 1909 Touring, and it cost about $944 when it came out. This kind of looks like uh, they're at Kings Island. They've been running the cars again, and this looks a lot like what the, those cars look like. Here's another 1909 Touring, and it cost $850 when it first came out. A 1911 Torpedo Runabout, $725. You can see there's portraits in the background, people driving the Model Ts. Here's a 1912 Model T Touring for $690. Take a look inside this one. It actually had a really nice interior stone. The nineteen thirteen runabout cost five hundred twenty-five dollars. Starting to notice the price seem to go down. $150. So only $165,832 were produced. And then we have a 1912T town car. Kind of looks like what would be like a sort of like your limo. We have a produce truck over here. 1925 TT grocery truck. Nineteen twenty two snowmobile. It's got skis on it. And it's got like a track. road race vehicle and then we have just the chassis this is a 1926 touring it's $290 for one of these like a lot of room in any of these cars but really really nice interiors and then here we have a 1921 huckster wagon cab's basically made out of wood Behind us, we have the fire truck, 1925 fire truck. And I do have a plane in here.
can see kind of like a showroom with video here. Showroom. Model T Roadster 1924, $345. Model T Coupe. Cycle 1896 and 1996. Their first Ford car. Here's another. This is a 1923 snowmobile. Costs $350. for a TT fuel truck. It says Texaco back here on the... Model team buses. I don't know if it's a school bus. Is it a school bus? Oh wow. was constructed and sold by Delphi Wagon Works, Delphi, Indiana. The 23 passenger 12 foot body was generally used on Ford one ton trucks, starting only with the running gear from a 1923 Model T Ford one ton truck. Jim in Alberta, Han, West Lafayette, Indiana, built this school hack. It duplicate, duplicates as nearly as possible the design possible the design and constructional technique found in the original ideal body maybe the back I don't know yeah there's a door in the back and here's another well, this is an ice cream truck looks like possibly I don't know Oh, popcorn, peanuts, and hot dogs. So just a concessions truck, or a food truck, yeah. <laughs> Alternators don't look any different than what they do today. <laughs> different vehicles back here. We'll do the transmission. Another wood paneled Model T. There they got a shop. Really like this. Over here we have a Model T tow truck. And it's 
got the wood compartment or the wood uh Farm equipment. There's another the Model T Touring, 1915, 490 dollars. Ford some Model FS tractor, 1925. It would have been 395 dollars. There's another Fordson tractor. Here looks like we have a Model T dump truck. Yep, 1917 TT dump truck, $350. And over here, we have a 1926 Fordson. F with tracks and crawler. 1925 farm truck, $290. Uh, and then we have a 1919 depot hack, it costs $475. Later on, called the station hack in station wagons. The depot hack would transport train passengers and their luggage from the train depot to their hotel. Nineteen twenty three Center Door is five hundred ninety dollars. Another 1923 depot hack, $330. Here we have an ambulance. We got here at when they were closing, so he's gonna drive off. And he's gonna take it across the street and store it for the day. <laughs> yep, thank you. So that was our tour of the Model T Museum and uh, it was pretty interesting. Uh, they had a lot of neat stuff. Uh, some of the conversions they had, like the snowmobile, the first one we seen, it was a, once it was converted, it was converted into a snowmobile. But the second one we seen could go, could be converted into a snowmobile and then back into a regular streetcar. And then the, uh, the two uh, tractor conversions we seen was the same way. The first one, could, was, once it was converted, it was a tractor for life. And the second one would be, you could actually convert it back and forth. And he said Montgomery Ward sold the, uh, the attachments for that. And uh, basically it was supposed to take 20 minutes. He said it took him four hours to do it. So maybe there was something different back in the day than what, what's going on today. But as for that, that's gonna be it for the for our, our video today. So uh, hope to catch you on our next adventure. See ya.